Right now it's midnight and I just looked outside and I saw this. It's a cat and I think it's a tabby cat with white on it. And it's trying to eat some food. I'd like to go out and give it some food, but it might run away. Look, yeah, it looks so much like Stella. That plate's empty, I really wanna go give it some food. It looks so much like Stella. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. I just put a whole bunch of crunchies on a paper plate and I took it outside and what happened was um, as soon as I opened the door the cat like took off like so fast uh, so I scared it and um, hopefully it'll come back and eat something it looked like a really young cat like maybe only a year old maybe not even it looks small so we'll see maybe it'll come back it's like five minutes later and the cat just came back and it sees me it sees me in the window I wanted to eat the food go eat the food go eat the food you can eat the food go eat the food is it going to go to the feeder? Is there still food there in the kitty cafe? I hope it goes back and eats the food I just put out for it. Who is that, Boo? Another cousin? How many cousins you got out there, Boo? It looks like it's sitting under the feeding table right now. It's still looking at me. It's 12.18 right now. And I just looked out the window again and the cat came back to eat the food, which is good. I'm pretty sure this is the same one. I think we're just dealing with one cat tonight. I don't know if it was two separate cats or just one cat. I think it's just one. Sometimes it's hard to tell because, you know, a lot of the cats around here can look similar. So I know this one's a tabby with white like Stella. The question is, is there two of them out there that look alike and I'm confusing them? Or is it just this one? I think chances are good it's just this one that we saw before. But there is a slim chance that there was more than one cat. But I think it's just this one. I'm happy it's eating and I'm glad I put some food out for it. I only put dry food out because it's really quick and easy to put some dry food out. Plus I didn't know if it was going to come back and eat it or not. Meanwhile Boo's watching the cat who's not taking his eyes off of it. It's about 12.30 now and the cat ate all the food and it went over and it drank some water and it's just kind of poking around, looking around.
today I just did a little experiment and this is a 5.5 ounce can of cat food. Um, I gave Hydrox this for breakfast today so I had an empty can. I also had two of the large scoops of homemade raw food defrosted for the cats and I was heating up some chicken broth to mix in and I said well let me see what would happen if I put the defrosted food into this cat can will it fill up the can and I would say that it filled up about three quarters of this can but if you look at the ingredients of canned cat food there's always some kind of water or broth in the ingredients so after the broth had heated up I mixed in the broth so right now what I'm looking at is two of the large scoops of homemade raw food with some of uh, the chicken broth mixed in and it is pretty much filling this 5.5 ounce can. So it gives me a really good estimate of how big these large scoops are. So one large scoop with broth mixed in would be about half of this can since this is two large scoops with broth. And um, I think that's interesting. What I might do the next time I make the raw food is make the scoops just a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna use the same scoop. I'll just make sure that I kind of round it off a little bit more. And then that will definitely be like two scoops for a 5.5 ounce can. It'll be like one scoop for a three ounce can. It's about 11 a.m. right now and the cats are eating late again today. We're having brunch. And this is what they're getting for brunch today. This is an experiment. So they're each getting some of the homemade raw food with warmed up chicken broth. They're getting one eighth of a can of the Trader Joe's Ocean White Fish. And they're also getting some crunchies on the side. And I've laid everything out on a plate kind of the way humans eat, you know, where you have the entree and the two sides. So the homemade raw food is the entree and the little bit of canned food is one of the side dishes and then the crunchies are another side dish and i'm just curious to see how the cats will eat like this Okay, so this is what happened. Um, all the crunchies are gone. And all of the canned food is gone. And most of the raw food is gone. And it will all be gone after Stella eats what was left of booze.
Boo. It's very hard to film you because you move around so much. See? This is what he does. So when I put a camera on Boo, when you see him walk like that, what he's doing is he's walking over to my leg so he can rub up against it. And that's what he's doing right now. He's tickling me. See, he's right here. He was just rubbing up against me. So that is what Boo does if you see him like walking toward the camera. It's 4.18 p.m. And I was just walking up the stairs and I saw this. Boo's hanging out by the back door with Hydrox and Ditto. It's like the cat pack. You know, like the rat pack, you know, with like Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr. in their tuxedos with all these tuxedo cats and then Boo. It's like the, the cat pack. That's what's going on here. So, maybe they're looking for dinner. It's probably gonna get dark in like an hour, hour and a half. Not feeding them yet though. They'll eat in a little while. They're probably hanging around looking for dinner, but it's not gonna get dark for another hour at least. So I'm not gonna feed them yet. They can wait a little while. I'd rather feed them like right before it gets dark. Oh, you wanna eat now? You guys wanna eat now? Okay, maybe I'll go feed them now. Maybe I'll feed them now, if they're around. The thing is when I feed the outside cats, then all of a sudden the inside cats wanna eat. So what I'll do is, I'm gonna give the inside cats a snack because their food is defrosting. They're having commercial raw food today because once again, I forgot to defrost the homemade raw food early enough. Um, plus the commercial raw, I've had it a while, so I wanna kinda let them eat it before it goes bad. So um, I'm gonna give them a snack and then I'll feed the, uh, the outside boys. Okay, so I was just filming a video uh, with the cats in the living room and then there was some kind of sound going on outside. Um, it was like some kind of screech and all the cats ran. And then I just looked outside and um, Ditto was on the other side of the patio. Look, his tail is huge. Ditto's tail is huge and Hydrox is on the back step. So I don't know what happened. I don't know if there was a third cat involved. I don't know if Hydrox and Ditto just got into some kind of a fight. I'll check the security cameras just to see if anything was picked up. Um, but it's just really weird. Um, but I will be giving them food in a few minutes. They just need to wait. Okay, so I just was about to go outside and see what was going on. And I opened the back door like a few inches. And then I saw a third cat go like running to the back of the yard over here and it looked like the cat that came by for dinner around midnight yesterday. I'm pretty sure that is what was going on here. I don't know if the cat uh, tried to start something with Ditto or with Hydrox or what. I hope there was not a fight. I want everyone to get along. Um, but yeah, there was definitely a third cat involved. I just gave Hydrox and Ditto a can of the Trader Joe's turkey and giblets. And there goes Hydrox, he's gonna eat out of Ditto's bowl. And Ditto says he'd rather have some dry food, so he's gonna go over there and finish eating the dry food. Okay, just sit there, balance. Simba, you're so handsome. Simba, you're such a handsome turkey.
Timba, you don't want to be a turkey? You'd rather eat the turkey? What about this? Put this on your head? Oh, big came off. Don't eat the turkey. I don't know what's going on, but there's crunchies on Boo's plate, and he's not finishing them. And there's crunchies on Stella's plate, and she's not finishing them. What's going on, guys? I just put a few more crunchies on Boo's plate, and he's just sitting there. This is so weird. Okay, now he's eating some of the new crunchies that I just gave him. And even Stella, she's just kind of like smelling them. She's not really eating them either. It's really weird. I don't know what's going on. Okay, now she's tasting them. And now Boo's eating them. Okay, good night, Boo. Good night, Stella. Good morning, Simba. How are you today? Good morning, Stella. How are you today, Stella? Good morning, Boo. How are you today, Boo? Hydrox is hanging out in his house this morning. And let me show you what I just found. It's really disgusting. So this is Ditto's food bowl. This is like where I normally feed Ditto. And someone pooped on the patio. It's disgusting. It is 8.16 p.m. and I was laying on the bed working on a video and Stella's laying here on the bed and Boo was laying here on the bed and Simba was up here on top of the cat tower and all of a sudden I started hearing like lip smacking noises and then Simba started doing that thing that cats do before they vomit, like licking his mouth, licking his mouth, licking his mouth. So he jumped down from this tower and he scurried down the hallway and was sitting on this rug and, you know, making those pumping noises um, when I got to him. And I grabbed the first thing that I could find, which was a paper plate that the cats had eaten their dinner on. And I successfully got it under his mouth before he vomited. So I'm just so happy that worked. There's a little bit of vomit on the rug, which is going to be a lot easier to clean up uh, than all of this. Um, so I don't know if something in his dinner disagreed with him. They had homemade raw food with some homemade chicken broth. They also had some of the freeze-dried minnows on top and a few crunchies. So I don't know if the freeze-dried minnows disagreed with him, or I don't know if he just ate too much. Simba, you feel okay? You feel okay, Simba? You had an upset stomach? I should also mention that while the cats were eating their dinner, I did find a hairball in the hallway. So I don't know if the hairball came from Simba or what I would think uh, it would be from Simba, um, just because he then vomited also. But I hope his tummy feels better, and uh, I just want him to uh, relax. And um, I don't know, I might give him some coconut oil to kind of lick. That way if there's a hairball, it could help move things through. But the moral of this story is it might be a good idea to keep some paper plates around for instances where uh, you catch your cats getting ready to vomit. They seem to work pretty well as far as, you know, saving your rug. I just melted a little bit of coconut oil, maybe half a teaspoon, and I mixed it in with some chicken baby food. And I gave it to Simba thinking maybe he could eat it. And he did not want it, but Boo came right over. So Boo's eating it, and um, yeah, 
hopefully it will have no adverse reactions on Boo, not that it should. I wanted to give it to Simba so if he still had any like hairball issues, uh, it would just move the hairball through. Um, you know, if you buy an over-the-counter hairball remedy, it's usually just like mineral oil or petroleum jelly and, um, you know, it's basically just a fat that is used to lubricate uh, their system and move the hairball through and uh, coconut oil would be a natural version of that. I'd rather feed the cats a little bit of coconut oil on occasion than a petroleum-based product. I just checked the security camera footage and at 9.49 a.m. Uh, Simba was seen in the hallway and then I heard, you know, the pumping sound and then uh, he moved over and I saw him, um, you know, kind of get rid of a hairball in the hallway. So I know that it was Simba. Simba had a hairball this morning and so um, he did that. They had breakfast, I want to say around 8.15 and then at 9.49 is when the hairball uh, kind of came up and... Um, I guess maybe, I don't know if there's more hairball in him or what, um, but um, yeah, so he's been having issues all day. We'll see what happens if it continues tomorrow. Tonight, as a snack, the cats are getting uh, this Earthborn Holistic Harbor Harvest, and I actually added some additional and I actually added some additional olive oil to it because I want to try to get some oil into Simba or some fat into Simba so that we can try to, oops, so that we can try to pass any hairballs he might be dealing with. And I'm just trying to avoid him vomiting tonight again. So we're gonna get this and they might get a little bit of crunchies. It's about 12.30 a.m. I'm just about to go to bed. Simba's hanging out in the cat tower. And Stella's on top of the cat tower. They usually don't do this. Usually there's only a cat on top of the cat tower. But for some reason today, Simba's laying in the middle section. That's fine. There's a lower section there too, but right now it's just storing toys and a turkey hat. And what's kind of weird is that I was in a store today and they had some cat towers kind of similar to this one and I was looking at them and I was like you know this one's starting to get a bit worn out and I was thinking maybe I should get a new one to replace it but then I was like no because the cats never use anything but the top level. like. That thought went through my head in the store just a few hours ago. I was like, they only ever use the top level. So like, is it even worth getting a cat tower with multi-levels? And and here we have it. Now Simba's laying in the middle level. Like, for the first time. Like, they never do this. I don't remember the last time. I don't think I've ever gone to sleep with two cats on the cat tower at the same time. Thank you for watching this Lucky Ferals video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.